Hello, hello, welcome to Spark the Flame video podcast. I guess this is number, let's see, number 25. This will be 25, but this is the first actual video podcast, even though I recently put up some video logs. We'll make sense of this stuff, but essentially... The podcast, I imagine, is longer, maybe reaching half an hour, as I've been used to doing. But I've been told that video on the podcast is something desirable from the viewers. So here's the experiment of trying a 20 to 30 minute podcast on video. So we'll try once and see what happens. Today is February the 5th, Monday, 2018, and it's been a little while. I've needed some rest. I went on vacation. I needed rest after I came back from vacation. A lot of stuff going on. I don't know if I'm going to be putting up a podcast every week, but something in me wants to continue putting up podcasts and video logs. So, I will continue the content, but I don't know about the frequency, but we'll try to get things up. So, I appreciate everybody being here. I appreciate your connection. I appreciate being a part of what we all are together. So, this is Spark the Flame inspirational platform we do exploration and inspiration started off as inspiration but really um, there's plenty that we explore here just ideas about how the universe works and things all in effort to think and act more positive to feel better And to enjoy life more. So. I don't know if I covered this before but. Let me go over something that I was going through. And I'll try to make it short. I was. Racing. Myself. I don't know how long. Months, years. I was racing against this idea the idea is this person who I want to be who I'm striving to be the most ideal version of me and trying to get there but it was a kind of race I'm not sure why but it was I was Pressuring myself to change my environment, to change my situation, and comparing myself to this ideal version and telling myself, whether subconsciously or whatever, telling myself, basically making myself feel bad, not purposely, making myself feel bad for not being there. While that happens, I cannot nearly as much as I want to enjoy the present moment. So in other words, I'm in my current job. I'm a technical programmer. Um, It's not something that I don't think this is my ideal place I have other thoughts of where I, what I want to be doing in my life like this for the most part but that's what I do I program for um, an institution and I make websites but me picturing myself where I want to be but Bringing myself down 
for not being there, even though I wasn't trying to bring myself down, that prevented me from actually enjoying where I am right now. And the reality is, for me, and I believe for a lot of you, things are okay right now. Like, it's okay. So, yes. So that's something I was going through. I was like, racing. And it was a race because it was like, why am I still here? Oh, I'm still in this position, this programmer job, because... I have not yet done what was necessary to be in this ideal version. So it's like every day was painful because for many reasons, I'm trying to be um, somewhere that I'm not right now. Um, I'm not, which prevents me from enjoying here right now. So that's the painful right there. And... And it's like that pain pushes me, like even brings me down more because it's like, why? It's like, I'm not there. Therefore, it's my fault. Um, that's why I'm feeling this pain and I need to work harder. And so, but every single day thinking that way, it just doesn't allow me to enjoy the day. Like, really appreciate. It's amazing. Gratitude, appreciation of where we are, of who we are. It's an amazing thing. It's, I was talking to my mom yesterday and a few things. Why would I even receive what I'm asking for if I'm not grateful for what I already have? Like, when you're giving something to somebody, you want them to be happy for with what you give them. You want to see that that appreciation, and I think it becomes harder to keep giving it to them, to keep giving them things, if they don't appreciate it. So why would I even receive extra if I don't breathe in the love and magic miracles? Astounding beauty and peace and harmony that's already coursing in my life, in my veins. If I don't see these things, if I don't breathe in this gift, these gifts that are here, Why should I get anything else? Because uh, no matter what else I get, I'm probably not even going to appreciate it. Because I can't appreciate what I already have. Even if I get what I'm asking for, if I'm in a place of non-gratitude, you give me what I'm asking for, I'm probably not going to be grateful. Because that's where I'm coming from, a place of non-gratitude. So I need to, we need to, here we go with gratitude again. I mean, it comes up again and again and again, but it's just so core. And what when I was talking to my mom, it was really interesting because the idea came up that if I'm not grateful for what I've been given, I haven't fully received it. I ha it's like someone gives you a gift and, and I have the box and I open the box and I open up this toy. Let's say it's a toy. And sure, it was given to me and I received it, but if I'm not if I'm not appreciating it, I haven't actually received it in my 
mind and my spirit. I haven't received it yet. So all these things that I have, these things that we have, our life, our health, all these things, whether you're lucky to have them, I'm lucky to have them, whatever you have, whatever we have, we all have blessings. And we, I don't think we fully receive them until we open ourselves to appreciating them. So, gratitude, it just, it's just so core, like I was saying. Along that line, there's um, a drawing or something that I want to share. Great. Now I need a pen. So, here's some kind of rough thought. Okay, this is about enjoyment and enjoying moments. So, a lot of times people will enjoy moments, you know, when we measure enjoyment, we're thinking of many moments spanned together. It's like, oh, this moment, this moment, and wow, I really had a great time because I had all these little moments put together that uh, create this joyful whole thing. And that's beautiful, and that's great. But what I want to bring up to you, something I've been thinking about is instead of, or along with enjoying moment to moment, there's also the way of enjoying each moment deeper. So you can enjoy the first way, which is one moment to the next, or you can focus your power of stillness, of mindfulness, of presence, into enjoying this moment deeper and diving delving more into this moment here and to me it seems that there is no limit to the depth that we can reach in each moment and there's a beautiful spirituality in there and when we talk about diving into each moment what is a moment how much time how much time is within each moment it seems like the moment can be divided into smaller and smaller units. And I don't know if there is a smallest unit of time. I don't care what is defined on the blackboards in research universities. What I'm talking about is our universe is there a smallest unit of time maybe there is but what I'm saying is we can focus instead of going greater in time we focus going smaller in time but deeper into right now. And I don't think there is a limit. And it's worth, it's worth trying. 
So to give you a little visual, hopefully this is um, useful. Let's say here is your, uh, we starting, okay, let's start here. So here is your one moment in time and time goes and we're enjoying, 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 enjoying. And then we sort of measure, um, can you see that? We're measuring, I don't even know if this is visible. We're measuring the enjoyment across multiple moments of time, going left and right. But instead of going left and right with our enjoyment, let's try going down, deeper, deeper into a single moment. Can you see that? I don't even. So the point is to go not from left to right in enjoyment, but down into this moment, into the depths of your consciousness and enjoy. And there is something so special there. I can't, I can't verbalize it. Um, I feel like I haven't even like begun barely begun exploring it and i hope to remember to try because even sitting here now i feel it very special so yeah so i hope that you will um give that a try enjoying deeper Okay, um, wow, I'm looking at the time, it's 17 minutes, that's insane, I thought I'd been speaking for like f five or six minutes, gosh, okay, well, we're almost done, um, hey, this wasn't that painful, right, I shall be back, I really appreciate you, us all, just being here and thank you for your continued support and I'll talk to you next time take care God bless with love and acceptance and forgiveness